Uh, hi, this is uh, Junwei from Tencent. Uh, I'm going to present our paper, uh, Temporal Interest Network for User Response Prediction. Uh, this is a joint work with Shanghai Jiao Tong University. So, uh, uh, user interest modeling is a critical task in recommendation, uh, which aims to recommend new items to a user um, based on his history behaviors. Uh, for example, uh, if a user has viewed lots of uh, basketball shoes before, then for a new uh, request, it's better to uh, recommend him a new pair of uh, uh, basketball shoes rather than a, a handbag. So there are many existing work on this research topic, including uh, target attention methods like DIN, DIN, and uh, sequential recommenders like SASREC. Intuitively, there should be both semantic and temporal correlation between behaviors and the targets. But existing work mainly focus on one of them, and there's no study on them together. So in this paper, we propose to measure the ground truth semantic temporal correlation between behaviors and the targets by the mutual information at the category level. So in particular, we choose one target category, uh, 674, and the uh, top five behavior categories from the Amazon data set, and we calculate the mutual, uh, mutual information between them, uh, as shown here, uh, along different behavior positions relative to the target. And we can show that uh, there is a strong semantic and temporal patterns in the sense that, uh, first, behaviors belonging to the same category with the target, which is the third row here, uh, they are, uh, in general, more uh, related uh, to the target than uh, behaviors from other categories. And secondly, we can see there is a strong time decaying pattern here. So we then check the learned semantic temporal correlation of several existing methods like uh, DIN, SASREC, and uh, uh, BST. And to our surprise, none of them can learn such pattern well. For example, uh, DRN can't learn any temporal decaying pattern at all. Uh, and for the uh, uh, SASREC and BST, they can't learn the uh, semantic pattern uh, very well. Uh, in order to learn such semantic temporal correlation between behaviors and the target, a model should be able to capture the correlation between the following quadruplet, the behavior semantics, the target semantics, the behavior temporal, and the target temporal. So in this paper, we propose a temporal interest network, or TI in short, which consists of three key components. The first one is the target aware temporal encoding, which will assign, uh, 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 which will learn a temporal embedding for each behavior according to their relative position or uh, time interval regarding the target. And then we will have a target aware attention, which uh, assign an attention, attention weight for each behavior based on the dot product of the behavior and the target embedding. And uh, thirdly, we will have a target aware uh, representation, which is an element-wise multiplication of the behavior and the target embedding. We will multiply uh, this uh, the output of a target aware attention and the target aware representation to conduct the four-way interaction explicitly uh, between behaviors and the targets. Uh, we can explain the whole model architecture by this figure. So uh, at the bottom, for each behavior, uh, we, uh, besides the semantic embedding, like the category ID embedding or the item ID embedding, we will have a, a temporal embedding uh, based on the temporal information uh, relative to the target. And we will have the same uh, representation for the target. Uh, and uh, this corresponds to the first one, the uh, target via temporal encoding. So after that, we will multiply them uh, to get a uh, weight, uh, which is the target via attention, and also uh, get uh, an, a vector uh, by the element-wise multiplication, so which is the target via representation. Then we will multiply these uh, two together, uh, together to get the final output. 
So all the three components in TRN are critical. Uh, without the target aware temporal encoding, the model uh, don't have the temporal information of each behavior regarding the target. Uh, without either target aware attention or target aware rep representation, the model can't learn the four-way interaction. So uh, we assign uh, a code uh, for each uh, uh, model according to the existence of these three components in TIN, uh, which is shown in this column. And the models with the same color, uh, they have the same code. Uh, on uh, two public data sets, the Amazon and uh, Alibaba, uh, TIN outperforms the AOC of the best performing baselines by 0.43% and 0.29% respectively. Uh, we then deploy TIN at Tencent's Ads Recommendation Platform. So our production model follows a popular mixture of uh, expert architecture, which has uh, the feature encoding layer uh, and the feature interaction expert layer. Uh, the feature encoding layer will handle various types of features, like the sparse ID features, uh, the numeric features, and the uh, embedding features. So we add TIN as an additional expert to handle the sequence features. Uh, during online B tests uh, in PCTR prediction of WeChat moments, uh, TIN gets a 1.65% uh, cost lift and 1.93 GMV lift uh, over the base model. So after that, uh, TIN has been successfully deployed to uh, the PCTR and the PLTV prediction tasks of many scenarios at Tencent. So it brings uh, tens of millions of dollars revenue lift every year. Here, uh, we show how to measure uh, the learned semantic temporal correlation uh, of our models. So the overall uh, learned uh, correlation uh, consists of two parts. Uh, one is the uh, one quantify the attention, and the other one quantify the strength of the representation. Uh, let's, uh, let's take TIM for example. So here is the uh, uh, equation of TIM. So we measure the strength of attention by the exponential of the dot product between the behavior embedding and the uh, targeting embedding. And uh, for the representation, uh, we quantify strength by the norm of the representation embedding, which is an element-wise multiplication between the behavior and the target embedding. So here, uh, we show the learned uh, semantic temporal correlation of TRM. And we can see that uh, it matches the ground truth mutual, uh, mutual information um, quite well, in the sense that, uh, first, uh, behaviors belonging to the same category of the target uh, are, are more correlated than the other uh, behaviors. And uh, also, there is a strong time decaying pattern here. We also conduct uh, an ablation study of TRM uh, by uh, disabling uh, one of the three components in uh, TIN. Uh, so, and then we visualize the learned semantic temporal correlation of these uh, ablated uh, variants. So for the TIN without target aware temporal encoding, so it can't learn any uh, temporal decaying pattern at all because it don't have any uh, temporal embedding here. Uh, for the target, uh, uh, for the TIN without target aware attention, uh, it can't learn the semantic uh, pattern uh, very well. Uh, while for the target of TIN without target aware representation, uh, it can learn the semantic pattern uh, quite well, and it can learn some uh, uh, temporal patterns, uh, but not as good as uh, TIN and also uh, as the uh, ground truth one. So here we uh, summarize uh, some of the uh, existing methods regarding the existence of the three components uh, in TIM, uh, which is the temporal information, the target aware attention, and the target aware uh, repre representation. And as we mentioned before, uh, all uh, existing methods uh, lack one or several of these three components. 
uh, which makes them fail to capture the four-way uh, semantic temporal correlation. So for example, uh, DRN don't have any temporal information, while and then for the uh, GRU for REC, SAS REC, and BERT for REC, uh, they don't have the target uh, aware attention because they just use the self-attention upon the uh, behaviors. And for the uh, DRN, uh, DSRN, and BST, uh, they don't have the target aware representation because they use the concat and MLP to uh, model the interaction between behaviors and the target. And it has been proved that uh, simply uh, the simple concat and, MP and MLP can't learn the dot product. So here we summarize our work. Uh, first, we propose to measure the semantic temporal correlation between behaviors and the target by the mutual information. And we observe a strong semantic and temporal uh, patterns simultaneously. We find that all existing models fail to capture such strong patterns. And then we propose TRN, which consists of three key components, the target aware temporal encoding, the target aware attention, and the target aware representation. All existing methods lack one or several of these three components. We demonstrate TRN's effectiveness on public datasets and then deployed it on Tencent's as platform. And by measuring the learned correlation, we confirm that the TRN can capture the pattern very well. Really well. 